delicious meat. Instead, you can head right over here to the marketplace and have this droid here cook something delicious up for you. I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we are back in Disneyland and we are going to show you the best restaurant to eat at in every land of Disneyland. Let's get started. Thank you. <laughs> Starting off in Fantasyland, we have the Red Rose Tavern. This restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. They have basically a casual menu, but with a French flair. So you can get items like mozzarella flavored burgers. You can also get regular burgers. So there is a lot to choose from. They do have reasonable pricing. Their prices for a burger are anywhere from 10 to $15, which is a decent price for Disneyland. And like I said, for breakfast, you can get a vegetable burger, you can get a breakfast platter with scrambled eggs and things like that. And from what I hear, their breakfast here is delicious. We've made it back to Toontown, and in Toontown, we choose Daisy's Diner as the place to eat. And while this isn't a walk-in restaurant where you can walk in, sit at a table, and order your food, you walk up to the window and there's plenty of seating available outside. The thing that's so great about Daisy's Diner is you can get things like a piece of pizza or a Cobb salad, very, very casual dining, of course, but this is one location you can also get a souvenir cup. The souvenir cups that they have available throughout the year are usually based on the holiday or certain events that are going on in Disneyland, and they are available first come, first serve. Once they run out, they are out. So if there's a souvenir cup out that you're looking for, you can definitely come and pick it up at Daisy's Diner. Daisy's Diner opens at 11 a.m. so they don't serve breakfast, they only serve lunch and dinner. The current sippy cup here is Mickey Mouse and it's in celebration of Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday. In Tomorrowland, our restaurant of choice is the Galactic Grill. There are some things you should know about the Galactic Grill, especially if you have food allergies. First of all, they have a vegetarian menu. So that is really great if you're a vegetarian. But for those of you with food allergies, I will tell you that this restaurant will cater to anything you want. They will special order your burger. They will special order anything you need. If you want french fries with no salt, no pepper, they will do it for you. They're happy to do it no complaint and that is a really big deal for people coming to disneyland that have food allergies or concerns or are concerned about what they're going to eat this is a great choice for you out here in tomorrowland primarily they serve burgers and their hamburgers are delicious we've made it to main street usa and our next restaurant which is the plaza inn the Plaza Inn offers full meals, which range from approximately $15 to $20. You can get a pasta meal, a fried chicken meal, or a pot roast meal, all of which are really, really delicious. But something that you should know about this restaurant is that you can order a la carte. The meals are really, really big, and if you order the fried chicken meal, you're going to get a biscuit, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, and three big pieces of chicken, which is sometimes too much for people. So just know you can order a la carte and order just the pieces that you want. The Plaza Inn was actually Walt's favorite place to eat dinner and his favorite meal was the fried chicken dinner. He spent quite some time with the chefs here making sure that the green beans were perfect and exactly how he wanted them because he loved green beans and he wanted them to taste a certain way. The other thing you need to know about this restaurant is they do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but breakfast is by reservation only. It is actually a character breakfast, and you must make a reservation in advance in order to eat breakfast here. Lunch and dinner are first come, first serve. There are no reservations available for lunch or dinner. Next on the list 
Everest is in Adventureland and it is the tropical hideaway. It is tucked back between the Tiki Room and the Jungle Cruise. This restaurant is all vegetarian. They only serve vegetarian food. So if you're a vegetarian and that's what you're looking for, this is the place to come. It has great ambiance. The views are really, really great. And as you walk into the restaurant, there's a beautiful waterfall. It is a really nice place to come. Frontierland, right next to the Shooting Exposition. It is Mexican cuisine, so you can head on down to the Hacienda and get yourself some authentic Mexican food. Their prices range from approximately $7.99 to $15.99, depending on what you're looking for, and they do offer a la carte. At this restaurant, if you are coming to eat here, the thing you need to order are the enchiladas. The enchiladas are delicious. They are the best enchiladas that you are going to find around and they taste so authentic. They also have some amazing chips and salsa that you can pick up if you just want to stop in for a snack. Next on the list is Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. This is a restaurant in Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, and this is the restaurant of our choice. Their prices range from approximately $12.99 to $18.99 for a meal. They do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner and they are very allergy friendly as well. So if you have an allergy, this is another place where they will cater to you. Of course, it's all Star Wars themed and all of the names of their food have Star Wars names as well. So head out here and get some galactic grub. restaurant in Critter Country. This restaurant sits right on the rivers of America so it offers tranquil views if you choose to sit along the railing. There are some really really beautiful areas that you can sit and look out over while you're eating your meal. The meals here range from approximately $11 to $15 and primarily they serve hamburgers and fish sandwiches. One of the things there that you can get here that you can't get at all the other restaurants is you can purchase a Fantasmic package. For adults it's $30 and for children it's $20. With this package you get a special meal and you also get tickets for very, very good seats to Fantasmic. The other thing they offer here right now are the souvenir mugs and currently they have the poison apple and a Halloween souvenir mug available for purchase. Our restaurant option for New Orleans Square is Blue Bayou. Blue Bayou, if you choose to come here, it is optional to make a reservation, but I highly recommend it because they fill up fast. And when all of their reservations fill up, sometimes it's really, really hard to actually get in if you just walk up and ask for a table. It is a Creole Cajun styled meal, and their meals range from $35 to $60 a plate but it is one of the most desired and most popular restaurants inside of Disneyland and definitely the most romantic. It sits right next to Pirates of the Caribbean and you actually have a view of the ride of Pirates of the Caribbean as they are entering the ride. They will float by you through your romantic dinner scene. mention of course is the restaurant inside of Club 33. So if you have the means to get inside this is definitely recommended but you do need to know that on top of the cost just to be a member of Club 33 the cost for your meal is approximately a hundred dollars per person but the food is worth it.
We're back in Frontierland, and as another honorable mention, we have the Golden Horseshoe and the Stage Door Cafe. They basically serve the same items, and they both do mobile ordering. However, Stage Door Cafe is just a window that you can walk up to, and you can sit outside if you'd like, and the Golden Horseshoe is indoors. They have upstairs and downstairs seating. The primary reason that we are mentioning the Golden Horseshoe in particular is because they have our favorite dessert right now that we just can't get enough of. We're going to head in and order it right now. Give her a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to end our video here. I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Bill Lisa. I hope you enjoyed this video of the best restaurants in each land of Disneyland. It was actually a request from someone, so we really enjoyed putting this together for you, and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching our video. Bye!